So I've, as I've been sitting here, I got this new thing. Check this out. Oh, well, I guess you can't check it out. It's an air quality monitor monitoring CO2 levels. When I plug everything up in here, the CO2 levels in this small space just plummet. And I'm in the red. Let me see if I can't go full screen. This is kind of a wild one. Maybe if you work in a small space and you have a bunch of computers like a full rack like I do back there, check this out. Yeah, look at that. I'm in, I'm in the red. I'm in poor quality for CO2. And then my Tavok or TVOC levels are, are now abnormal. My HCHO, my HCHO is now poor. So I guess I need to like open my window or have some kind of ventilation. Let me run my AC unit, see what happens. Maybe I need to circulate the room. Yeah, I didn't know this was a thing. I saw like some tech YouTuber on, uh, I think it was Melky, on uh, Twitter. And he was like, hey, make sure you're monitoring your CO2 levels if you're running a bunch of electronic stuff. Because you can cause brain fog and a lot of things when CO2 levels get into the poor category and it can be really bad for your health and other things. So I, when I walked into the room, it was at 400. We've been streaming now for almost an hour 20 and I'm at 1400. Now, as I turn in my air conditioner to really just kind of circulate the air in here, it's kind of wild. Yeah. Jeff Gearling is big on it too. I think he made a video about it. And I, I guess I'm just late to the party, but look at that. HCHO is already dropping when I'm pulling the air from the AC. And it looks like my CO2 levels now are too. So I guess I just need to leave that circulating when I, or at least have, you're always running my AC. Man, that's wild. Humidity's at a nice 43% though. I like it a little warm in here, about 70s. I think I'll let that go. Let's check back up on that here in like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. See where that's at. I thought that was just kind of an interesting thing. I didn't know it was a thing, but you should monitor those levels. Maybe I'll start becoming more coherent. Already my TVOC is in the good now since I started circulating the air. Huh. That is so crazy. Yeah, so I actually have a mini split up top create automation yeah this is a really nice mitsubishi mini split a couple thousand bucks but definitely worth it uh, yeah but i never thought about it you know it's something to check if you're finding yourself not productive like a lot of times when i was in the studio what made me kind of have a light bulb moment is i remember other creators mentioning co2 and then i would come out here and i would like hey i'm gonna put some code down and then all of a sudden my brain would like fog up or I just couldn't quite get whatever it was I needed done. And then I think my CO2 levels were just really high. 